Pisces. How's it going? It's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. So I'm going to prep the Crystal Visions, <clears throat> sorry, tarot card deck to do your bonus reading for November 2021. So for those of you that are here for your first time, and thank you all for joining me, I do bonus readings at the end of every month to go a little bit deeper um, into what is going on with your life. So um, I've got a Wheel of Fortune spread here to look at where are you going with your life anyway? Okay, so this is going to be a general reading for Pisces in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you know, it's for the collective energy of Pisces. So anyway, I chose the Crystal Visions deck because it has this card and it is the unknown card. So it's basically saying that your future is in your own hands right now. Okay, so can you get a little bit more mystic with it? in order to create the life of your dreams. So the Wheel of Fortune in Tarot, it can take you forward and it can take you back. So that's why this is called the Wheel of Fortune spread. And we're going to look at what your destiny is right now. And you're basically holding your destiny in the palm of your hands. So hopefully this will give you some really good guidance. And I'm going to pull a card to represent what your destiny is. Okay, so... Whew, that was a lot of information. Let's start pulling cards for, for you, Pisces. I'm going to take that one. <clears throat> All right, so let's have a look here at the King of Wands. There's this huge portal opening up over the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands is a fire sign, okay? So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys could have your fortunes tied to a fire sign. It could be a Leo because we do see a lion here. And there's a portal in the clouds opening up over top of the King of Wands. And there's sort of this bubble of opportunity. <clears throat> it's like your bubble is about to get burst. Let me take a sip of water. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I just picked up the, uh, the unknown card as well because she's holding a crystal ball, okay? And then you can see in between the paws of the lion that there is a bubble, you know? And there's this bubble here. And then there's a bubble of opportunity. And there's a crystal on the, the scepter of the King of Wands. So... It does seem like there is a fire sign about to enter your life that can help you get up to the next level. And you might not really want to share your hopes and dreams and desires with somebody else, but there is somebody coming in <clears throat> that you guys are just going to intrinsically trust, okay? So it could be a man or a woman. We're just looking at the energy of the King of Wands, okay? And this is somebody that is unstoppable. They make a plan and they achieve it. You know, they're the type of person that they have three or four plans going at the same time. And it, it might like really freak somebody else out. So they could really spin you around a little bit with their energy. And you're like, wow, I don't even know how you get all of that done. But they're going to see something in you. And you guys are going to like just go up, like I'm seeing a spiral staircase, but it's going to take you from looking at the staircase and go, oh, that's a long way to go. But the, the king of wands is like, yeah, let's go. I'll meet you at the top. So there is some sort of destiny connection coming in for you guys. And what do you need to do to find your highest path? Okay. So your destiny really is to sit beside a fire sign to reach your highest goals, whatever those might be. And you might wanna take a minute after the reading to write those down so that, that you can have a look at them. And when you meet this fire sign, you can show them to them. Okay, so what do you need to do to find your highest path? Okay, so I pulled the moon card here for you guys. The moon card is deep intuition. You guys should really resonate with this because you're a water sign and water is so extremely affected extremely affected by the moon. You should have this really intuitive flow about you. What I'm getting here also is that 
the timing of where the moon is when you meet this king of wands could really impact how you feel about them and how you how you trust them how you receive them okay so you might really want to pay attention if you meet some fire sign and you find them super annoying check where the moon is you might want to make an appointment to meet with that person again when the moon is full because you can see here the character represented in the moon card is surrounded well i mean it's two but she's flanked by two wolves okay so this is somebody that is a member of your wolf pack and they will like basically ride or die you know how they say that they're just gonna meet up with you you guys are gonna have this incredible synergistic bond you're not meant to walk alone. Um, there is somebody out there, and it could be a business partner, it could be a romantic partner, but your destiny is to meet this person. It's a twin flame of some sort, whether it is going to be, and I just saw angel number 555. So that basically means that um, your life is about to change, um, and it's usually for the better when you see 555. So you can be assured when you see this fire sign that they are going to change your life for the better. And if you're really not connecting with them, wait till the full moon. And you can explain that to them because they're not going to think you're a lunatic of any any sort. They're just going to go, okay, that's cool. I get it. You know, yeah, get your energy on and then we'll meet then. Um, <clears throat> so you really got to work on your timing with that person. Um, and trust them, okay? Use your intuition. You guys have really deep intuition because you're a really deep water sign. So what is standing in your way right now, Pisces? Let's have a look here with another card. Okay. So here's the page of swords, okay? So this is quite fascinating here. The message that I'm getting here. You guys could be waiting for a sign, okay? instead of trusting your intuition and we did pull the moon card which is a really deep sign of trusting your own intuition okay signs don't always come blazing past your house with a mat marching band and a banner this is your sign you know there's not always synchronicity sometimes it's the quiet whisper in your mind and in your gut you know so you're gonna have that you're going to have to let go of that a little bit. Like the, the urgings that you're getting, those quiet whispers in your mind, those are the signs, okay? And is that not a moon? Those are angel wings and stars and crows. And this is like, stop trying so hard to receive messages from the universe because you're already getting them, okay? So this is standing in your way to a certain degree. It's like you're waiting for, I don't know, some sort of package to be dropped on your door that you can unwrap and it's going to be a jack-in-the-box saying, hey, this is your sign. It's not going to happen like that. You're already getting them, okay? So this fire sign is going to come in and recognize this. And for some reason, you're dragging your heels, okay? You're just... You're not ready to weigh in and do battle. But lucky for you, fire signs are all about battle. They're like, woohoo, contest, let's go, you know, let's amp it up. So I'm getting the question here, how does that really relate to your destiny? Because we did ask the tarot at the top of the reading, what is your destiny? Okay, is it just your destiny to meet a fire sign? There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you feel that deep connection, human bond. It could be a romantic partner that you could be with for the rest of your life or a really good friendship. And, you know, <clears throat> those things are gold, you know, um, finding somebody that you can trust and laugh with. But I'm going to pull another card. What is your destiny here for you, Pisces? Okay, Whoop, there it is. <laughs> jackpot card okay so big money just tons of abundance wealth and abundance okay and you think of abundance as uh love money health like anything that you would like to have like your dream home uh just always to be strong and young and fierce and all of that stuff this is your destiny but because you could be sitting behind um, some sort of, well, I'm not getting the signs. I'm not reading the signs. You could be like talking yourself out of your destiny. Um, but this is where this fire sign comes in because you, you'll be absolutely unable to hold back anything from them. And they're going to say, Hey dude, you know, or sis, 
that's your sign. Let's go get it. Let's go hit that spiral staircase and I'll take you up there. I'm strong as can be, you know? So this is going to be very interesting for you guys that every single thing that you ever wanted in your life with the 10 of pentacles, it's going to be realized with the help of a fire sign, whether it's a business partner, friendship, romantic partner. So keep your eyes open for this person. And you maybe want to wait till the full moon to have a real deep conversation with them because they're a little much. I'm an Aries. I know. <laughs> Remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Take care. Bye.